go. It's November 9th. It's about 27 degrees. It's nice and cold now. The morning we've been waiting for here. Black powder season. Just opened in Tennessee today. We're still bow hunting though. Back in the middle ditch stand here at the farm. Right here next to the old log jam there. So once again we're gonna be relying on our eyes today. I was really hoping I could get that pulled out of the creek, but I never got a chance to get around to it, so hopefully hopefully it'll cover us a little bit though, so we'll take the good with the bad. But, Anyways, alright, well, we're hoping to, hoping for a little better luck today. It's going to be the perfect morning, so stay with us. I just shot a good one. I don't know if I got it on camera. I don't. I didn't really have any time to adjust it. I was just looking at this four corner. That is still standing here. I'm just over there watching. I turned around and seen probably the two best deer on the farm right at 40 yards. The one had got a little bit past me, but the bigger one was, he was standing there broadside, but he had his head behind the tree and he walked up right in my 40 yard hole. I mean, I don't know if I got the camera turned, if it was on him, I have no idea. But I can't believe that, that just happened. I've been sitting in here, it is, it is a quarter to ten right now. I think I hit him pretty good. He carried the arrow, which worries me a little bit, but I guess could be a blessing. But they went, they just ran off this way. The one split to the right, and the other one I didn't see, and the one I shot I didn't really see. But I stayed on one of them for a while, and he's a buck that we have that's got a little drop time. And he was cutting back to the right, and he was just moseying on off. Pretty sure the one that I shot, the bigger one, he cut to the left. Adrenaline, that's why we love this. Man, I hope I hit him. I hope I made a good shot. I, I hope 
have made a good shot. I'm going to give him a little time to go over there and see if I can find some blood, secure that. We'll be back with you. Oh, all right. So, got out of the stand, went to where he was standing when I shot him. No blood at all. Oh my gosh. The last 15 minutes I've been sick to my stomach, just haven't been able to find anything. And then I just thought, well, you know what? I'm just going to kind of go to the area where I feel like he ran to. And then just kind of wander around, see if I see him laying out there or anything like that. And I luckily stumbled on to a blood trail. If you can see that or not. But that is called getting lucky. And it is a pretty good blood trail. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to hang my vest there to where I can find it. I wish I had some tape on me, but I hate to leave my vest in the tree, but it's private land, so we're pretty comfortable. Everybody already knows that I'm down looking for one, so I'm going to make my way back to the stand, and I'm going to give him some time, and hopefully we'll be back with a recovery. Let's go find him. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Let's hope. Let's hope he's deceased. We got our orange vest out here in the woods. We'll go see if we can find him. People can't tell me this. Man. I can't hardly breathe, Jared. <laughs> well, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, boys. Oh. He was laying in a lake. <laughs> oh. I don't think it took him very long. He's already a little stiff. Oh man, what we get two pictures of this deer in the, in the dark? Yeah. What a morning. That's about all I seen was small bucks. Just had one of those mornings you just felt like you spend the whole day in there. You just have an action. I just got to the point where I felt like, you know, later in the day it was gonna be a little better and I didn't want to get out because they were still moving. I actually had a little four-pointer out in front of me and he stood there for a little bit and he was just stomping that front left foot and I was watched him for a little while and I thought you know what I'm gonna get him on camera and I was actually sitting down in my stand for the first time most of the day and finally I was when I decided to put him on camera he just kind of stood there for a little bit and he looked over like this and I had just enough time to turn around and see the one that he was standing there with and he was probably about 45 yards and I seen this deer and his head was completely behind a tree which allowed me to stand up and grab my bow and 
I spun the camera around. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to pan out because I was zoomed in so far on that four pointer. But once he stepped out, I drew back and give him the classic mwah. And luckily on the footage, I got his, I got his head looking at me, but unfortunately I didn't get the kill shot. But uh, and then got down and had trouble finding blood and wandered out there and stumbled on the blood trail. And that was a good one. And man, lucky to be able to have a day like this and spend good time with friends and have friends who are willing to come help me drag this deer out of the middle of a cypress swamp. <laughs> but man, I couldn't be any happier. I mean, it's good to be able to see deer on a farm like this that you that you try to take care of and try to manage and you watch all these deer go by and come down here mainly for just the fellowship with your friends and shoot a doe here and there and let the let the little ones walk and this is why so hunting faith that's why we do it